Hello everyone, this is Cyrus Kangalu and welcome to Iran on the hot line of revolution. Today is uh, November 10th, 2022 and it's of course 54th day of the protest and strikes of the Iranian people against the Iranian regime. Uh, according to Reuters, Iranian security forces have arrested an employee of an opposition television uh, broadcaster, Iran International, as the individual was trying to flee the country. It's a semi-official Fars News Agency said on Tuesday. On Tuesday, Iran's intelligence minister, Smail Khatibi, called the London-based channel a terrorist organization. The arrest comes amidst one of the um, bloodiest challenges to Iran's clerical rulers since the 1979 Islamic Revolution, with nationwide protest sparked by the death of Massa Amini in the custody of the military police for not wearing appropriate hijab. Recently, the agent carried out numerous activities and actions in slandering the Islamic Republic, inviting youth to riot and uh, creating terror among the people, Fars said, with respect to the arrest. And I must mention here that the uh, infamous Fars news agency is known amongst Iranians for lying and showing the truth upside down. Iranian media identifies the arrest, um, arrested individual as Ilham Afkari, who they said had been in content with the in contact with the TV channels. So apparently this is a crime to be in touch with them because perhaps they're going to announce something that they don't want it to. The semi-official student news network broadcaster said she was the sister of Navid Afkari, a 27 years old wrestler executed in September 2020 after being convicted of stabbing a security guard to death uh, during anti-government protests in 2018. Of course, that's what they are claiming and they're providing something to for an excuse or an excuse to kill anyone. Afghari's family and activists have said Navid was uh, tortured into making a false confession, um, accusations that were denied by the hardline Iranian judiciary. Said Afghari confirmed his sister arrest and um, on Twitter on Tuesday, adding that the whereabout of Ilham's three years old daughter were unknown. Since the execution of Navid Afkari, the Afkari um, have faced several court cases over involvement in the 2018 protest. Habib Afkari was freed on um, March 2022 after months of isolations in prison, while Vahid Afkari remains in solitary confinement. And now there is no news of Liana, Elham Afkari's three years old daughter, who was with her uh, at the time of arrest in Shiraz. We are afraid the Islamic Republic might have taken Liana into custody too. Could be. Today, ABC News also had a article about the um, news of Iranian revolution, uh, reported the protests in Iran raged on the street into um, Tuesday, Thursday with demonstrators remembering a bloody crackdown in the country's um, southeast. Even as a nation, intelligence minister and army chief renewed threat against local and dissent and the broader world. 
Um, meanwhile, uh, a top official in Iran, um, Iran's uh, preliminary revolutionary guard, claimed it had managed to achieve having so-called hypersonic missiles without providing any evidence. At least 328 people have been taken, kill, take, taken and killed and 14,825 other arrested in a revolution. According to the human rights activists in Iran, a group that's been monitoring the protest over their 54th days. Iran, Iran's government for weeks has um, remained silent, so has the other government of the other countries, Western world. Um, they remain silent on um, casualty figure, while state media uh, counterfactually claimed uh, security forces have killed no one. As the demonstrator now returned to the streets to make 40th day of remembrance of uh, those silence, uh, and uh, matter of fact, the slain earlier commemorates uh, common in Iran and wider um, Middle East, the protest may return into uh, psychological. Um, confirmations between the um, between an increasingly uh, dissolution public and security forces that turn to a greater violence to suppress them. Online videos um, emerging from Iran, despite of government's efforts to suppress the internet, appear to show demonstrations in Tehran the capital, as well as uh, cities elsewhere in the country. Near Isfahan, video shows um, a crowd of uh, tear gas, shouts of death to the dictator, could be heard a common chant in the protest uh, targeting Iran's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. It wasn't immediately clear if they were injured or arrested in his round of the protest. Though Iran's state-run Iran um, news agency acknowledged the demonstrators near Isfahan, they commemorated the September 30th crackdown in Zahedan, a city in Iran's um, resistive um, Sistan and Baluchistan province, in which activists um, say security forces killed nearly 100 people in the uh, deadliest violence to strike amidst the demonstrations. Meanwhile, Thursday, um, Guard General um, Am Amir Ali um, Hajizadeh said in a speech that his forces acquired hypersonic missiles. However, he afforded no, um, offered no photograph or video or neither um, other evidence to support in claim and the guard's vast blast ballistic missile program is not known to have any of the weapons in its arsenal. Hypersonic um, weapons which fly at the speed in exceed of Mach 5 um, or five times the speed of sound could post uh, crucial uh, challenges into the missiles defense systems because of their speed and maneuverability. China is believed to be uh, pursuing the weapons as in um, America, America, Russia claimed to already be uh, Welding the weapons and have said it used them of the battlefield in Ukraine. This system is very, very fast and is capable of uh, maneuvering both inside and behind the atmosphere. 
M. Hejazizade claimed. This means the Islamic Republic of Iran's missile can pass through both uh, uh, terrestrial air defense system and the super expensive extraterrestrial system that could target missiles beyond the Earth atmosphere. Iranian officials um, have kept up their uh, threats against the demonstrator and the wider world. In an interview with the Khamenei's personal uh, website, International Intelligence Minister Ismail Khati, um, renewed threat against Saudi Arabia and nation against um, and also um, along with the Britain. And um, based uh, uh, on the information that has been uh, broadcast here and there, uh, so uh, the U.S. officials have blamed for the um, uh, violation, revelation that appears focused on local uh, grievance. And uh, also uh, Israel and the U.S. Uh, that uh, officials have been blamed for the, uh, as I mentioned, uh, fomenting revolution that appears um, focus on local grievance. Uh, Khatib also uh, warned that the Iran's uh, strategic uh, patience could run out. Besides, last week U.S. official said Saudi Arabia shared intelligence with the America that suggests Iran could be preparing for an imminent attack on the kingdom. Iran later called the claim baseless, um, though the threat from Tehran continued. The commander of the uh, guard forces of Iran's uh, regular army, um, Kumar's um, Haideri, separately issued his own threat against the protester, whom he called flies. And according to the uh, guardians, uh, one of the Iran's most prominent actors, um, uh, Tarane Ali Dusti, posted an image of herself and um, social media on a Wednesday without the headscarf, uh, mandatory for the woman in Islamic Republic. She said um, a Kurdish language slang of the protest movement reading Jean Jian Azadi, Woman, Life, Freedom. Uh, I am the one who is saying here, and I have no intention of leaving, said the 30 years old um, actress, denying having a uh, foreign passport or residence. I will fight for my home. I will pay any price to stand up for my rights. And most importantly, I believe in what we are building together today, she added. But the German uh, parliament yesterday, uh, Wednesday, November 9th, approved the bill of uh, government of his country about supporting the protester in Iran and increasing the pressure of the Islamic Republic. At the same time, the German government's continued support for the revolutionary uprising in Iran was met with the uh, reaction of the foreign minister of Islamic Republic. This bill, um, titled um, Support the Protest Movement in Iran, Increase the Pressure of the Tehran's Regime, was presented by the three um, 
parties of the German coalition government, Social Democrats, uh, Greens, and Free Democrats. Part of this bill is recalled to the ban of issuing visas for uh, agents of uh, uh, repression and um, in intensifying commercial and facial uh, financial sanctions. In another part of the three parties plan, the German government has been asked to support the holding of the special meeting of the UN Human Rights Council on the human rights situation in Iran and the extension of the mandate of the UN special uh, reporters in Iran. Okay, here we come to the end of the program. Uh, thank you for uh, your company and sharing this uh, uh, reproduction as much as possible to help us on the path of the wisdom and freedom for women, life, freedom, long live Iran.